This is a brand new Triumph 660 triple. Check that thing out. Dual disc brakes, reverse forks. It looks like a header of stock exhaust. Liquid cooled, four valves for cylinder, monoshock, disc brake on the back. I'm not sure what the brakes are, the sizes. The front one's up 300 at least. Nissan calipers, chain drive, six speed box. That's not a quick shifter, but you can get one. Um, 80 horsepower, I believe. 416 pounds wet. Isn't that thing gorgeous? 40 or 50 foot pounds of torque. It's just a wet dream on rubber. I'm, I'm just absolutely in love with this thing. Every time I see a new Triumph, it gets, it's, it's just, wow. Look at this dash. Tack on the top, Speedo. It's got all kinds of modes, rider modes. It's got, well, it's got two modes, rain and regular or sport, whatever you want to call it. Control the modes with these things here. I'm going to shut it off. Uh, Fly-by-wire throttle. Uh, it looks like LED headlights. It's got uh, these beautiful Michelin tires. Let's see what they're called. They're the they're the uh, they're the sport tire. I can't I can't read it. Sorry guys, I'm old. My eyes don't work. But absolutely gorgeous. Look at that. Absolutely fabulous. Adjustable brake lever for position. It's a wet dream. It's an absolute wet dream. This is a Baxter Cycle, Marnie, Iowa. Wow. If you're enjoying the video, please give me a like, subscribe, and uh, help the channel grow. Appreciate your help with all that. Thank you. One of the things that jumps out at me about this motorcycle is its good looks. I like this kind of motorcycle. It's sporty, it's small, high power to weight ratio. It's a uh, low cost, it's a great entry level bike. For somebody that wants to develop good skills, you know, it's got a decent but simple suspension. It's, um, like I said, good looking. I, I just really enjoy the, you know, the classic triple thing, even though this is not a classic bike, it kind of runs around that. I mean, look at that back seat. You'll never get your wife or your girlfriend to ride on that. Look how sharp they've taken care of that tail tidy. I mean, that is absolute. I've never seen detail like that on any other bike. Little triumph sign on the end of the tail light. Very clean, very clean, absolutely gorgeous motorcycle. The tires are Michelin, I think they're called Road 5s, they're kind of an aggressive, I don't know if they're a sport tire, but they're a really good tire. The motorcycle has 80 horsepower at 10,000 some RPM, and uh, it's rated at 47 foot-pounds of torque. That's quite a bit of power. Of course, a six-speed box. Uh, bore is 74 millimeters, I think, and stroke is 51, so it's pretty over square. It's got a slipper assist clutch. The wheelbase on this thing is 55 inches, if I remember right, just over 55 inches, and uh, that, that's pretty short, so it should be very nimble. Uh, my, my old Sportster is 55 inches, and it's just a ball to drive. It has a uh, 310 degree I'm sorry, 310 millimeter disc on the front and 255 on the back. ABS. I don't think you can touch the ABS. Turn the ABS off. I think it's on full, you know, all the time. Um, fuel is. Uh, I think it holds 3.7 gallons, and I'm not sure what the reserve is on it. And of course, the weight is uh, 416 pounds wet, is what they claim. A little more about the engine. It's a four valve per cylinder, so 12 valves, an inline three cylinder. Um, compression ratio is really high, 11.95 to one, so 12 to one. So I don't know what kind of gas you're gonna be running in it, but I don't think it's gonna be, uh, I think it's gonna be mid-grade or higher. Thing, something interesting about the uh, bike, I was talking to the mechanic at Baxter Cycle and he says the maintenance maintenance intervals are 10,000 miles, I think. And he thought off the top of his head, and I can't find this anywhere online, but the valve adjustments were 25,000. You know, 10,000 miles for valve adjustment on a bike like this would be pretty good, but 25,000 would be just amazing. I mean, that's 
almost maintenance free valves. Very impressive. The suspension is Showa front and back. The front is absolutely not adjustable, and I think the back one is, you know, spring compression. Um, a bike like that, you know, you really learn how to ride it because you have to, you know, you have to cope with what you have. And, uh, you know, for a beginner rider, I think that would, uh, one of my favorite bikes growing up was a, had a Yamaha Vision, and nothing was adjustable on that, and it really improved my skills because I really had to learn how to cope with it. Anyway, I found this bike at Baxter Cycle. They've got a nice selection of motorcycles. This is the only one of these they had. They're absolutely beautiful motorcycle. If you get a chance to uh, see one in real life, they look much better. They look sharp in picture, but they look great in real life. Very, uh, just a good looking, small, fast motorcycle. Get out there and ride, guys. Life is short. Enjoy it while you can. Take care.